All right, so I got a new attachment here. This is the MTW um, PR148H power rack attachment. This is the RTS system. It's pretty neat. You can actually change out the power rake to a tiller and a broom. I got the tiller. This is a brand new. I just got it yesterday. I ran it in my yard for about 10 seconds just to see if it ran before I went to the job. But you can see it's built. This thing's built like a tank. So you take off this plate. I'll show you that here in a second. We take off this plate. There's three bolts. You take that off and then the side comes off with the uh, spindle and the power rake portion comes off and then you put the tiller on there. So I'll do a video of that and uh, see how it goes with one person because I'm just by myself. So this thing is built. I think you could throw it off the Empire State Building and it would survive. It's built pretty tough. And they showed that in some videos that I had seen. So uh, before I bought it, did quite a bit of research on this before I bought it so uh, it looks looks pretty good MTW is great to work with I, uh, I it took me a little bit to order it but once I finally ordered it I paid them credit card and it was at my house the next day I'm about probably seven eight hours away from them but I was pretty impressed it was there like the next morning through FedEx so I had it all packed on a pallet and ready to go so I'm, a, I'm today I'm doing this little dirt removal job this customer i'll show it from this angle here this customer needs this you can see the ground's not very good here basically like this big rectangle here i'm gonna dig that out about four to six inches and uh remove that soil for him i'm gonna, t I'm gonna put the tiller attached i'm gonna run the power rake through it first and I'm going to run the tiller after that. And then I'm going to take that soil out and put this nice topsoil I get from a guy here on the south side of Indy. And uh, I'm going to use this topsoil to, that way he can grow grass in there. He's never been able to grow grass in this little area, this little patch of his yard. So that's what I'm doing today. MTW RTS system. Basically, you can, you can uh, swap it out between... The power rake, a tiller, and a broom. I didn't get the broom because I didn't see a need for that, but it's still pretty neat. You can, you can be able to use the power rake for more than just a power rake. So, and the thing's built like, like a tank. It's looked pretty solid. So, we'll see how this goes. Thanks for watching. John Shot doing a review on the, on this attachment, and uh, hopefully I can get this tiller on and off and. Switch that out. Get going here.
<clears throat> all right well that was about a couple minutes if that and first impression is this thing would probably dig me to the other side of the earth so uh my goodness it's pretty powerful you can see this there's this tree right here so we were hitting a lot of tree roots from that and you can see all the roots in there and that thing just went right through it one thing i meant to, i was going to mention on this one is i got the they only sell i think they're selling it one with with the with the uh motors in the drum because that's a lot of a lot of them are doing now but <clears throat> as you've probably seen on my, some of my other videos this uh this one or i have a toro power rake and it's got it's chain driven and i've read a lot done a lot of research and it sounds like the chain driven has a lot more torque and this thing like i tried a, a, a diga brand last year i just tried it for about 10 minutes i've uh, got it from a dealer here and tested it out and i noticed right away that it did not have the torque like my 15 year old uh harley rake toro branded harley rake and that's what that part of the reason i prompted me to get this one because this has the uh it's this one has the um, chain drive on it so uh it's uh pretty solid that, that was going like i said you saw that that dug down at least four inches so i'm gonna put the tiller on now and see how much see a difference that makes and then get this dirt out of here but that was one thing is that the the difference was that it was uh a lot of the ones i looked at they're they have the motors built into the drum and i wanted one with a with a chain drive so i'd have all that torque and power to to rip through stuff like this where it's got lots of tree roots so nice job mtw
Now that one would dig to the other side of the earth. But now you can kind of see, this is why that grass wasn't growing. I don't know if you can see in this video, but there's a ton of pea gravel in this. Now that I've tilled that up, there's a ton of pea gravel in there. So I'm gonna scrape that out. This side is actually not too bad. But that tiller, uh, MTW, thank you. Wow, that's impressive. I didn't think it was gonna do what it did. And it was really easy, as you saw, it only took about five minutes. The first time I ever swapped that tiller out. I just got it, I just put it on the truck for the first time this morning, and that took me, I think it was, the video was like five minutes. So I think you could actually do it a little bit quicker than that. So that's that's pretty impressive. <laughs> I can't I can't believe that. Uh, that's what it was going through. It was just eating through those roots. Here's a here's a uh, two inch root. Cut right through that. Some more right there. So that's that's absolutely amazing. If you're gonna look for a power rake, this is the one you want. I'm not getting paid for this, honestly. I just, I, I, this attachment was just under 10 grand. I bought it. There's no sponsorship here, but this, that's what you want right there. If you're looking for a power rake, this is the series one power rake. It's a chain drive. I think they're, like I said before, they're coming out with a direct drive, but I just wanted the torque. I just know running that Diga brand last year it had not it did not have the torque like this thing does this thing will rip through anything and they do one thing I didn't mention before they do sell this power rake part with um, they sell that with uh, replaceable teeth but I didn't want that I my Harley rake had fixed teeth and I ran that thing for 15 years and I just started losing teeth on it in like the last year they were breaking off that's the other thing that's nice about this thing is you can actually turn you can swap it around you can see the star pattern there so that's how it connects to the that's how it locks in on the uh, actual attachment it, it's got a plate that goes in there I, I don't know how that'll do over time if that wears out or not but uh, that's how it connects so you can actually swap that's one thing I like about this is you can flip this power rake around because you know a lot of times you use the same direction it wore out the teeth on one side of it so mtw nice job that's three minutes i've used on it so i'll use I'll, I'll definitely make some more videos of me using it and you can kind of see the difference but i'm i'm already excited about it so i'm gonna keep going on this job thanks for watching getting all that uh, pea gravel out of there. That's why the grass wasn't growing. So if you look at this pile here, I separated it. You can see all the, I mean, see all the pea gravel in there, just loaded with it. You never know, you're gonna get on these houses, they build them and, and then they, they got extra pea gravel from the basement and they just throw it in the yard and cover up the sod and you know, people then you can't, you get a guy like this, 
we can't grow grass for a long time so anyways here you go that's the pile of junk there was still good topsoil in here as you see i raked all the as much of the grass clumps and the roots so those weren't in there now i'm gonna bring this topsoil in my truck that's a good topsoil and dump it in there and get that part going
All right, well, MTW, thank you for this power rig. I'm excited to use it now. You saw it in action there. Uh, got the tiller on them. I use that later today on another job, so you can see what it can do. Uh, it's pretty amazing. Thanks, and I'll keep making videos with it. Have a good day.